Life update time. It's been a little minute since I've uploaded a video here, just updating everyone with just some current events. Uh, I'm currently back in Los Angeles, California, moving from Houston, Texas. And I tell you, people ask me, Nate, why'd you move back to Los Angeles? And then why'd you move back to Los Angeles during these crazy times? And I answer them, I say, the reason I moved back was because I should have never left. <laughs> but I'm so grateful for my time in Houston. It was almost a year. I had to get out of there a little bit sooner due to some, just some housing circumstances with the air, long story. But uh, yeah, yeah, Houston was a great, great chapter. I learned so much about, uh, you know, having a house, what it's like to have a house and just the responsibilities. And let me tell you, if you never, we only rented it, but it felt like we owned it. Just the responsibilities that you have with a house. If you haven't had a house and have taken responsibility for a house at all, be prepared, <laughs> right? Some of the lessons that, that I learned by being in Houston is just taking responsibility for having a house that's just so big. I mean, it was a 39, that's just about a 4,000, eh, three, 4,000, 3,000, 4,000 square foot house. And there's a lot that goes into it, especially whenever there's only two people that live there, it's pretty big. And especially whenever you travel around a lot, it's just not, it's not the most feasible thing to have unless you're throwing big events and things that would definitely make a lot more sense. But I'd say something else, of, you know, being in Houston, Texas, I learned was just the power of a routine, having a routine and staying consistent with that routine. You know, I've done business for over five years now and I never realized how important having a significant strict routine is but not just within a particular location, but sticking to that routine whenever you travel to different cities. That's something I struggled with. I realized that, but I'd say, especially this year, 2021, I, I've stayed consistent with my routine, you know, working out, reading the books, right? I, I got a Right now, it's, it's the one-year Bible. You know, it's got a day. Every single day, I read scriptures. I stay consistent with that. Same with my guided prayers. I stay consistent. Same with my statements that I need to uh, I read every single day. It's like I stay consistent with that. And I know people always ask, well, what's the secret? For real, I mean, I think there's many secrets. If you want to call it a secret. But it's really sticking to a, your routine an effective routine, not a routine where you get up and, you know, instantly just pop in a, you know, a blunt or, or something. I mean, that's not really that. If you do that, you know, I'll do respect, but it's not really effective. Just being transparent, it's not, right? You gotta, you gotta maximize your day and not let your day maximize you, okay? So having an extremely productive routine is so, so beneficial to attracting more greatness into your life. Let me say it again. Having a strict and powerful routine is extremely important for attracting and vibrating at such a high energy where you're gonna have so many blessings and opportunities come into your life, 100%, okay? So that right there was something that I realized that I learned. And it, at first I was like, wait, is that something I really learned? And I thought, well, yeah, you did, Nate. You really did. I'd say something else I realized was just how much I needed to humble myself by being in Houston. Another reason, you know, I decided to leave Houston was because just accessibility. A lot of people didn't really go to Houston, people don't think, oh, Houston, like I gotta go there. It's just not one of those destinations. And I'm talking from 
for individuals all over the world. Nobody thinks they go to Houston, Texas. It's either New York City, Miami, Florida, or Los Angeles, California. LA is normally number one. New York's number two, Miami is number three, right? So for accessibility reasons, it's, it's just so crucial to be in a place. Yeah, you might pay higher rent, okay? You might be investing into to things that are like taxes. Oh, how can you move out there with taxes? It's like, man, I don't even, I don't even care about that. Like, I don't even think about that stuff. The way I look at it is like, if you're meant to be in a place, ain't nobody gonna stop you. You're truly meant to be there. It's another reason I decided to come back. I realized I got a lot of people here that I didn't cultivate relationships with fully yet. And a lot of relationships just to, to rekindle and to, to revisit. And how much I really, really thrive here. And I think that's something else. You gotta, you gotta identify what makes you thrive. What makes you just absolutely wake up every single day where you're excited to be where you're at. And if you're not excited where you're at, then you gotta make a change. And if you're not willing to make a change, nobody's gonna make the change for you. You gotta be the one that's gonna make that change. I really want you to digest that. I digested it. It's funny, within a couple of few months of living in Houston, I knew that I wanted to get the heck out of there. But whenever you're you know, tied into a lease agreement for a year and you have a very strict landlord, it's not always the easiest to get out of that. But I realized within a couple of few months, immediately I wanted to come back to Los Angeles. But I accepted it. I accepted, hey, I can't go back right now. I'm meant to be here for a reason. At least for, you know, eight more months. In that moment, I felt like, man, these eight months, it feels like it's going to be eight years. But whenever July came, which is the month that we were out, I was thinking, whoa, where the heck did the time go? But I realized I needed to go to Houston to learn more about myself, to go through a little bit of heartache, relationship-wise, to become more self-aware of what I really want, who I am, and to develop a more fruitful relationship with my, with my business partner, to, to form business partnerships with clients of ours. I never thought that, you know, would happen being in Houston. And being there, I really understood and, and grew as an individual. And I'm extremely grateful for it. My, my level of gratitude has expressed more than what it ever has been. It allowed me to get really in tune with who I am. I'm always working on getting 1% better every single day. I believe we all are, right? That's the goal of being a human. It's like, how can we get better every single day? That's the goal. But being back in Los Angeles now, I realize this is exactly where I'm meant to be. And the purpose of me just creating this video is to give you a short life update. I could hit on more principles and I'm sure I will sometime in the near future. But I look forward to what's to come here in Los Angeles. Got some really great things that we're working on company-wise. All I can say is, you know, stay tuned. So grateful for you that follow the journey and always keep up with everything that I do. Sincerely means a lot. And this is what I like to call a new beginning. A new beginning to so many more blessings and to so many more great opportunities that are coming. And I bless every single one of you that are watching this video, that this inspires you, that this encourages you to go make a leap. Take that leap of faith, make a move. It doesn't just have to be a location. It can be make a move in your job, make a move in a relationship if it's toxic, 
make a move in a new business venture. Take that risk. Make a move on asking that girl out. Make a move on giving that guy some more signs like that you're into him. Because not, not every guy knows that. They don't always have the most EQ. Whatever it is, make a move. Be bold. Take more risks. The universe and God, whatever you believe in, will reward you so abundantly. But you got to take action. You got to do your part. The rest will follow. Peace and blessings.